So you guys have been listening to me preach for the last couple of years against bad microphone technique. It's everywhere. It doesn't matter if it's a metal band, blues band, or someone at karaoke. Some people just can't figure out how to hold a microphone correctly. And then they get their noses out of joint when you try to instruct them in the proper way. Oh, you just don't understand, man. It's the sound I'm after. Ah, I don't know how many times I've heard that particular line of bullshit. Yeah. Flat, shitty, and incomprehensible just sounds amazing, you fucking dolt. <laughs> anyway, Heil Microphones might have just found a solution for the idiots doing everything they can to create horrible vocal tone. Let's take a look at the PR35. I initially found out about this mic just before last January's NAM, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these shortly thereafter. It comes in a very nice padded carrying case and includes a pop filter, a mic clip, and a, colored, a couple of colored metal rings that can be attached for easy identification when you're running multiple instances of these. But the big selling point for this mic is the hashtag cup this campaign, which goes along with it. Naturally, that piqued my interest. Somebody finally made a mic that singers can't make sound bad, no matter how hard they try? Uh, apparently, the philosophy here is that the mic should sound great, no matter how it's held. Uh, that's because we all know that trying to get a singer to hold a microphone correctly is basically mission fucking impossible. You might as well be asking for your bass player to learn his parts. Like, come on, let's get fucking real here. Anyway, yeah, the mic's designed to be held pretty much anyway and not sound bad. So there's two very interesting things about this mic. First off, the ports used to give the mic its directional properties are much further back than on a traditional handheld mic. This means you're really going to have to go out of your way to cover these. Uh, the other point is that the center of gravity is a lot further back on this mic than you would find on others. That means if you try to grip it with bad technique, like say everybody does with a 58, you're not gonna wanna hold it that way for any length of time. Very clever. It's much more comfortable to hold this mic back just a little bit further. In fact, uh, the colored metal ring is a pretty good spot in a visual indicator where to grip it. Does it work? Well, let's put it to the test. I've brought in my very good friend, Brandon Wright from Final Stage to help me put the mic through its paces. We're doing the same vocal part using the mic um, on the stand with a proper grab and then varying degrees of idiot grip that you'll see pretty much every singer in the entire universe use. And uh, just to make things interesting, we're putting it up against an SM58 and an El Cheapo Apex handheld mic as well. Uh, be aware these are raw vocal takes, so there's no auto-tune going on. I wanted to get as real a sound as possible. All vocal tracks have been slightly compressed with the distressor on the way in, and the only EQ being used here is just a high-pass filter at about 65 Hz to clear up some of the low-end rumble. Uh, if I recall correctly, the gain on the preamp was set at a constant as I wanted to see the variations in level uh, based on the microphone and the handhold technique being used. Once again, I must stress there's no auto-tune going on as you'd probably never get that at a live show anyway. That is, unless you're going to a puddle of mud show and then they just fucking lip sync because they suck. But you're gonna see here, sometimes the real trick is getting the singer to remember the proper words. Here we go. Action by man of the cloth In time justice befalls The deception wells run dry As the empire falls Action by man of the cloth In time justice befalls The deception wells run dry As the empire falls Action by man of the cloth In time justice befalls the deception wells run dry as the empire falls. Actions by man of the cloth, in time justice befalls. The deception wells run dry as the empire falls. Actions by man of the cloth, in time justice befalls. The deception wells run dry as the empire falls. Actions by man of the cloth. It's time just
just his feet falls. The deception wells run dry as the empire falls. Actions by men of the cloth. In time, just his feet falls. The deception wells run dry as the empire falls. Actions by men of the cloth. In time, just his feet falls. The deception wells run dry as the empire falls. As the walls are closing in and Lady Justice falls, your reign is at an end as the empire falls. Anyway, I think Heil has a real winner here. It certainly blows the doors off the SM58. And in fact, I'm using the PR35 to do this monologue right now. Check it out, there it is. At, uh, 270, at $276, it's significantly more money than a 58, but it's also vastly superior. Dare I say that this mic is idiot proof? The real question is, will it stand up to the idiot in your band? So my recommendation, if your singer refuses to see reason and just will not stop cupping the mic no matter how much you ask him, um, get him one of these or uh, get him one of these.